Suppose that the characteristic equation of a third order differential equation has roots plus or minus three i and four. Number one, what is the characteristic equation? Number two, find the corresponding differential equation. And number three, find the general solution. First, because we're dealing with a characteristic equation, we know we have a third order, constant coefficient linear, homogeneous differential equation. And because the roots of the characteristic equation are plus or minus three i and four in factored form, the characteristic equation would have to have a factor of r minus three i for the root of positive three i. We'd also have to have a factor of r plus three i for the root of negative three i. And there also would have to be a factor of r minus four for the root of four. And now to give the characteristic equation, we need to multiply out the left side. Let's first multiply the quantity r minus three i and the quantity r plus three i. r times r is equal to r squared. And we have r times three i, which is three r i. And then we have negative three i times r, which is negative three r i, which is equal to zero. And then we have minus nine i squared, which will simplify. Recall that i squared is equal to negative one, and therefore r squared minus nine i squared simplifies to r squared minus nine times negative one, or r squared plus nine. And then finally, we multiply again. We have r cubed minus four r squared plus nine r minus 36 equals zero. This is the characteristic equation. And now we can use what we know about second order equations to give a corresponding differential equation. Recall when we have a second order equation and the characteristic equation is a r squared plus b r plus c equals zero, the corresponding differential equation is a y double prime plus b y prime plus c y equals zero. Because our first term in the characteristic equation is r cubed, or because we have a third order differential equation, the corresponding differential equation is y triple prime minus four y double prime plus nine y prime minus 36y equals zero. And now we can also use what we know about second order equations to give the general solution. The general solution is y of x equals, because we have one real root of positive four, using our notes from number one, we have y of x equals c sub one times e to the power of four x. And then because we have two complex solutions, where if we have plus or minus three i, and the form is alpha plus or minus beta i, we have alpha equals zero and beta equals three. So when we have a second order equation and we have two complex roots to the characteristic equation, the general solution is y of x equals c sub one e to the power of alpha x times cosine beta x plus c sub two e to the power of alpha x times sine beta x. And because in our case we have alpha equals zero and beta equals three, our general solution also includes plus c sub two e to the power of alpha x is e to the power of zero x times cosine beta x, which is cosine three x, and then plus c sub three e to the power of zero x times sine three x. Let's go ahead and simplify though because e to the zero is equal to one, giving us a general solution y of x equals c sub one e to the four x plus c sub two cosine three x plus c sub three sine three x. I hope you found this helpful.